Good evening and welcome to my garage. Uh, a couple months back, a friend of mine came over and uh, she, I showed her the arcade machine. She liked it a lot. My control panel here uh, plugged into my laptop, which runs MAME and various other emulators. And uh, she loved it. She thought it was awesome because she'd grown up playing games in the arcade as well and just really liked it. So she asked me if uh, I can make her a cocktail machine. And so several months later, here it is. This one's deluxe. We've got the uh, opposing control panels on each side, as well as double controllers on the other end. So it's actually pretty sweet. Plus we've got a trackball on each end, six buttons for each joystick. I mean, this one's really deluxe. This one should be able to uh, play quite a few games. So let's turn it on and uh, see what we can do. All right. There we are. So there's the mouse button, trackball. All right. Unfortunately, uh, this computer that's running all of this, I bought off eBay, not eBay, I'm sorry, Amazon, um, back in November for a Black Friday sale. And unfortunately, it shipped with Windows 10, which has been a nightmare to work with. I can't stress this enough. I hate Windows 10. I really do. I can't imagine 8 was any worse than Windows 10 is. 10 is a nightmare. All right, anyways, let's start up Hyperspin and show what we can do. All right, the front end of choice is Hyperspin. Why? Because it's beautiful. And it's awesome. And I've had several months to work on this. And uh, at this point, I need to finish up. And all the em other emulators are giving me such a hard time right now that these are the only ones I can get to work. Which is not bad. I mean, after really... I think this is a pretty good selection. Yes, I got Daphne to work too. In fact, we can start with that one. Let's check it out. So, I'm gonna hit start. Let's do let's do Dragon's Lair. Let's show you that. All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right, so it's loading up. There we go. There's the boot screen. Give it a few minutes. Beautiful, isn't it? All right, so let's give it a couple of credits. All right, and start a game. I don't know how I'm going to play this with one hand, but I'm going to give it a shot. Oh, this one's easy. Oh, I can do this one too. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Yeah, some of these levels can be finished with just one hand. Here we go. Oh no! I died! I think the best part of this game is just hearing his crazy screams every time he dies or does something. Listen, listen to this. Let's see what, the, what he yells like this time. That was too brief. All right, now watch this one. What should you do? Should he grab the gem or go to the door? Correct answer is go to the door, not the gem. See, because you die. How did you know that? By trial and error. All right, well, my escape button is over here, so I got to reach around here and hit that. Back out of the game. All right, a couple other uh, Daphne games. Some of them are better than others, but 
All right, so MAME is the bread and butter. That's what this is all about, man. Arcade games. Let's start this off. All right. Donkey Kong Jr. is a favorite. It's got my current high score. Don't give me a hard time. It's not too bad, but it's not very good either. Uh, let's see. Here we go, Donkey Kong. Current high score, that's me. That's me too, but it's not as impressive. All right, let's start up Donkey Kong. All right, so now you coin up. Now if you play with two players, I'm gonna come over here to the two player side, okay? I'm gonna push the two player button. All right, so here we go. So I'm back at player one's side. The screen's oriented naturally to face player one. All right, so here goes Donkey Kong with one hand. Let's see how I do. Oh, not very good. All right, he died. Now check that out. It switches the other way for player two. Isn't that awesome? That is awesome. That's the correct answer. That is awesome. So this uh, this whole project was quite a labor of love, and it it did take me several months of wiring and, and configuring. You know what? Let me pop off the side panel here and show you what I've got inside. So right now, this is just magnetized. I didn't bolt it on or anything because because I know I'm gonna have to get inside every now and then, and I don't want it to be uh, to be a real hassle. It looks like my flash is off. So let me start another video with the flash on. All right. So this is inside the cabinet. See, there's the computer I bought. I didn't even take out the motherboard. I just left it all in. But I uh, wired the power switch down there, right up to the power switch, right over there. Yeah, like you can see which one it is. See the red clip on the far back? That's the power switch. That's the old computer I bought. Actually, it's not very old. It's just a couple months old, so. It's just not really a very powerful gaming computer. It's very low end, but it has just the right specs to run an arcade machine. And I bought a pretty uh, low-end subwoofer and uh, two speakers. I got those installed right there. And then one on the opposite side right there. So those, if I come outside the machine and I go down, see those are facing down on either end of the player, the single player and the second player. So, um, yeah, and then you've got the control switch for that right here. Okay, so you've got volume and bass on the side and then uh, headphone jack right there. Tonight I bought a fan because I noticed that it does kind of get a little warm inside when the when the back lid is on. It gets kind of kind of warm in here. So uh, I'm getting a fan. I'm going to put that just inside here. I'm going to do that tomorrow morning when I remove everything and move it to its new home. I bought the original wood frame from West Coast Customs. This is the second time I've used them. I also bought this frame from them as well. And this is the second time they shipped me the wrong pieces. I was trying to get it finished before Christmas. Yeah, and I started in, um, I think, mid-November. So yeah, that was a bit unrealistic. But uh, regardless, shipping the wrong pieces kind of hurt right then. I mean, that's the second time in a row getting burned by the same company. Yeah. And then their customer service was pretty poor. They don't answer the emails that well. So <clears throat> if you can, find someone else. But... Um, if you gripe at them enough, they will eventually send you the right pieces that you need. Anywho, uh, the bezel, the plexiglass bezel, I made that myself. I just painted, I taped it off and then painted the opposite side black and then flipped it over. And uh, it looks, it looks actually kind of professional. I kind of like it. I dig it. So that covers up like the name of the monitor and the little lights on the side and everything. Look, look, let me pop it off and you can see what I'm talking about. All right. It's Velcroed on for easy access. All right, see? So that's without the bezel. You can see down in there, you can see the ugly insides and, yeah, that's not very cool, is it? Nah, of course not. So you wanna put that bezel right back. There we go. All right, so yeah, it gives it that professional touch. You know, it looks really nice. It's not hard to do, just takes a little bit of work cutting the piece out, getting it to fit right. The taping and painting was 
it's just taping and painting. It's not hard at all. <clears throat> Putting the kit together took a little bit of work. Um, it uh, the hardest part is to figure out what to change because uh, the instructions don't cover everything. I mean, you need to, for instance, you need to wire. This is just one of the control panels. You need to put all the buttons and the joysticks in, and and I added a trackball in the middle of it, so that just increases the amount of room I need. So you put it all in there and you get it all wired, then how are you going to put it together? It's it's really hard to put this case together when you've got it all wired up. And you can't put it together then wire it, you just can't reach in there. See way back there, how are you going to put that on there? There's not a hand small enough that can reach back there to do that. And then you got to tighten those down and all that good stuff. So it's just a little hard to reach, but I guess that's... That's the uh, nature of the beast with these cabinets. They're built tiny and compact, so you have to get a lot of work done in small areas. Plus, you need to have, you, you create a build list in, in an orderly fashion so you can get things done in the right way, and you constantly have to revise that, so. All right. <clears throat> so yeah, she's running Windows 10. I'm not happy about that, but oh well. It, uh, so far it, it hasn't given me any problems and I ran it for a day and uh, tested it quite often and it's, it works really well. Tell you the truth, I'm really sad to see it go. I'd like to keep it a little longer because this is a very fun machine. But uh, it's going to a good home and I know I'll, get, I'll be able to get over there and play it sometimes. Okay, a couple things I wanted to show you. I forgot to mention the controller type I use. There it is. An iPad 4. <laughs> There we go. That's an iPack 4 from Ultramart, and I love it. This is the second one of these I bought. This is a newer version than the one I have in my control panel, and I love it. Absolutely love it. Ultramart makes some really good stuff. The software was really easy to use, much easier than the previous version, so they've, they've updated it really well. They've done a great job. Great product. Highly recommended. Never had a problem. All right, and then... Uh, also wanted to show you another feature I added on both of the single player sides. I put a USB port on the outside so you can plug in a mouse, keyboard, whatever you need. So it's a fully functioning computer. It just so happens that this one is awesome. Yeah, if you have any questions or you know curious about how I did it, just give me a give me a shout out down below. Alright. Thank you, and I'll see you guys later.